What this all comes down to, of course, is that silos, when we look at the sort of what's in behind that, they're a direct result of that failure to establish and communicate expectations, be it about leadership behavior, leadership process, team behaviors, team norms, really the failure of senior leadership or leaders really at all levels, because we see it in in all levels where we've got silos and sub-silos. It's really the failure of the leaders to manage um, leaders and their managers and their employees employees to these expectations. So again, that permissiveness that's in there. Um, and, and so two fronts, right? We're not stating what those expectations are. So everybody gets to decide for themselves as though they have the authority and the autonomy to do so and to drive their own agenda. But also when they see someone who's working off of the collective interest and, and fostering those silos through their behavior and through their mindset, not bringing them back into alignment with those expectations. Now, one of the silos we do see frequently is, is between senior leaders and their next level of reports. And this is particularly comes out because senior leaders who are insecure will often silo themselves and their peers into kind of a grouping of competent and next level managers as incompetent. So it's it's a sort of the way of splitting out at a level and they will withhold information and development opportunities from that tier below, citing that they haven't earned it yet or you know other reasons for it. But at the end of the day, it's, it's really their way of siloing across a tier and, and it's very self-protective in its orientation. In, in other cases, we, you know, we see this over and over again where only the most senior people know what the vision and strategy are, know what the financials. And, you know, I can think about a client where, you, you know, as the organization was growing, the people that were running these, the big functions within the business had absolutely no visibility into the fin- financial information of the organization. And then got on the flip side of it, got, got comments were always made about them as they don't have sort of any business or financial acumen. And it's it's this interesting way of keeping them out so that the, the group at the top could really function in a silo. So again, creating that notion of a club that you have to be really special to join, but it gets in the way of organizational progress. Um, and it certainly gets, creates the circumstances in which the, you cannot be cohesive and collaborative when everybody's working on the, off of their own agendas.